Hi, hey, once again, this is Robert with Clean Pool and Spa. In this video, I want to answer the question, why did my pool water all of a sudden go foamy? I walked outside and I see this big blanket of foam on top of the pool water. Where does it come from? Well, first off, I would ask for your readings. What are your readings? The chlorine combined, chlorine pH, alkalinity, calcium hardness, and cyanuric acid. Be sure that uh, they're in line. The second thing that I would ask you is, are you using an algicide? And if so, what kind? More than likely, people say that they're using a copper-based algicide. And my response to that is, absolutely not. What you need, if you need to use an algicide, the only one that you should be using is a Polyquat 60. It is a little more expensive, but it's worth it. The problem with copper algicides is you're adding copper to your pool and you're opening yourself up for the chance of metal staining. I had uh, um, a customer when I had my route in Arizona, a guy called me up and said, "What's come over here because I have this staining and I got over there. We started a troubleshoot. It was a fiberglass pool. And he says, I don't understand this because it, it's a fiberglass pool. I'm on city water and yet I have these stains. So I did the test and sure enough, they were metal stains. And I asked him, are you using an algicide? He said, yes, you want to go get the bottle. And sure enough, it said copper algicide on there, had a copper in it. And I said, that's your problem. You're dosing your pool with metal. If you're going to use any kind of algicide, always use a polyquat. 60 algicide and this is especially true if you have well water uh, do not use a copper based algicide only use a polyquat 60. Um, so if if this happens if you do have foamy water and you're using an algicide what can you do well because algicides are meant to break down and get filtered and backwashed out and your pool water or your pool topped off with fresh water uh, it it'll work its way out eventually. How long it's going to be, I really don't know, but just keep filtering and backwashing and, and topping the pool off and it'll eventually go away. You can also take your a wide mouth leaf rake and scoop out as much foam as you can. So I hope I answered that question. Uh, please check the description box below. It has a link to my website, cleanpoolandspa.com. Lots of great information over there. So please like, subscribe, and comment here. I'm Robert with Clean Pool and Spa. Uh, and as usual, be safe and happy swimming. Bye.